All right, I am in the trauma chair again, and John has chosen the pecan pie plate as the target. And uh, now this is my method of holding my arrows. I've done this for years. I hold them. I don't have to have a quiver. I actually shoot better this way because I have to hold the arrows and I can't over grip the bow. You're actually shooting pretty good considering that you haven't done it. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've shot. Oh, I've been working, working, working. But that, I used to shoot that way, the split finger, but I never will go back to that. I shouldn't say never, but this is so much more likely to hit what you're trying to hit. Because you're anchor, I anchor here now, mm -hmm. just right here to my cheekbone, and with those length there. Now, if I cut that off one inch, it wouldn't aim in the same place. Mm -hmm. okay. Dead pecan pie right there. Rim shot. You remember who had a dog named Rim shot? Whoop me. I'm going to uh, finish the uh, tutorial or the, what do you call it? Uh, review. Review of this. I like this chair here. I like it because it's got several good things. You, you can adjust the, if you're in the woods, you can adjust the, if it's on a, a high spot or something like that, right? it, those legs adjust. But another thing is that this thing here, uh, you can't, I'll show you over here. This chair right here, you can't, I'll bring it over here. This chair right here, you have to already be set up for a particular spot. See, I have to angle it this way, and now I can shoot there. But if you, it's a comfortable chair though, it's a comfortable chair. It's very light. It has some uses, but if a deer, I can shoot from here to about right here with it. I'd say that's a quarter of a of a 360, whatever a quarter, 180, 180, 90 degrees. I can shoot about a 90 degree. I could strain back here. I can shoot about a 90 degree. Uh, with this, but with this trauma chair, I can take my feet and scoot on around anywhere quietly. Uh, 
I've got my I've got my hay my new hay bales out here and they'll be perfectly fine until I need them for the cows I plan to get a couple of more targets so that I can have a variety of places to shoot Now, if I have to shoot over here, you know, I can shoot over here. But that's a better one for this. You gonna buy one of these? That might be good for turkey hunting. If you know where your deer's coming, pretty much, that's good. It's very light, you can carry it around. And like I said, it's a pack chair. You can actually pack it on your back. This chair right here, though, this chair right here, very easy. So you say you're sitting, say you're sitting like this, and your eye catches the deer over here. You're back there far enough, you can just ease along every time it gets behind the a bush or maybe make a quick move and you're in in the right position these field points come undone and they rattle you have to tighten them up if we could, I can move over, see if we can kill a pecan pie. Okay, bottom line, I like this chair better. Now, you may as well get used, ready to spend, I think it was $300 or something, okay? It's a fine chair though, this is around the campfire, this is to hunt with. Um, Sitting around the house, very sturdy, uh, top of the line hunting chair right here. The Chama chair, it's a little less, maybe a hundred dollars less, but it's... That's the pack, pack seat. Yeah, the pack chair right over here, but it is definitely not as versatile. Um, I felt like I was stuck in one position. In fact, when I was hunting in it yesterday, I just got out of it and got down on the ground. This way is the way I hunt sometimes. I just get on the ground like this. But it, and then sometimes I sit on my leg like this. But this begins to get old after a while. I'm working on an idea of a type of thing that would go under here that would relieve some of the pressure. So I'm working on that as we speak. <laughs> in my mind okay now to get to the real purpose of my videos I am a disciple of Yeshua the Messiah otherwise known as Jesus Christ I am declaring his name before men as he instructed me to do in the Bible I am declaring him to be the Savior of the world. I am declaring him to be God himself, our Creator. That's what the Bible teaches. Okay? Some of you guys out there belong to him, but you don't know it. You, those people are referred to as the lost sheep, just as I was a lost sheep before he found me. Sometimes he uses his followers like myself to inform people actually lets them help him he doesn't need our help now he can just reach down there and grab you up and open your eyes if he wants to he does it how he wants to he has instructed his believers to declare his name before men and that's exactly what I'm doing I want you to go to the Bible and I want you to look up what he said in the New Testament Jesus Christ is what they call him in most Bibles. 
He had a lot to say. You need to listen, listen to his words and see if it sounds like something that you'd like to learn more about. Now, if you want to just cut to the chase, cut out all the middlemen, cut out all the red tape, you just say this, Dear Yeshua, dear Jesus, please save me. I know I'm a sinner. I want to be with you. Would you save me? It's all over with if you do that. You want to just skip all this other stuff? Go straight to the source. This is Gardener Israel. I hope I can talk to you again. Signing off.